Hello everyone. This is the tour of my house located in Des Moines, Iowa. It was built in the 1890s, Victorian style house. Um, I don't know a lot of history about the house. I do know that there is some original stuff in the house still, like some of the floors and walls and things are original. There was also some really awful updates put on in the 90s to the house as well. Uh, a fun fact, I'm actually right across the street, let me turn around this way, from the governor of the state of Iowa. I'm actually on the back side of her property right now. So that's where the governor lives. At, uh, there's a historic mansion on that property. Anyway, on to the tour. So this is, we actually have a half acre right in the heart of the city of Des Moines and there's always uh, kids stuff scattered everywhere all over our, our yard. We have lots and lots of trees and lots of wildlife that come through here. So this is the side there and it's all on a hill. So our entire yard is sloped, which was super fun for the kids when they were learning to walk and they would roll down this hill, on, not on purpose. Um, you can see the house has this really awesome wraparound porch that I super love and we have some furniture out there. And sometimes I work outside, it's really awesome. And property goes back this way here so you can see there's just a little play area for the kids and then that's the back of the property let me turn around and go the opposite way we have this whole hillside it's all just super wild right now um, don't know what to do with that yet I'm not the greatest at dealing with weeds everywhere so okay let me come back here And this is the front door of the house here. Oh, light's blinding me. Okay, yeah, there's the front door of the house. And the porch, as you can see. Come up here. The porch wraps around like this. And there's some furniture over here. And right now, you see mostly trees and stuff, but we're on this really big hill, and so in the winter time, we can actually see across to most of Des Moines. Okay, I'm gonna come around the side of the house here. And don't pay attention to my weed bed right there. I haven't tackled that one yet. <laughs> uh, there's our garage and basketball hoop. Um, there is a, a bed right there that I did recently tackle and I turned it into a native garden so it has a bunch of native plants that are just starting to grow there and then let's go back around this way don't pay attention to my brush pile there either um, but behind it are my strawberries and my green onions and things like that and then these are grapevines and this is a blackberry bush, and these are raspberries. I didn't plant any of this stuff. It was all here when I got here. And then this hill, this hillside right here, I don't 100% know what to do with this yet. A lot of wildlife comes through here. We constantly see deer coming through. Um, there's been reports of mountain lions in the area and lots of other wildlife as well not quite so exotic of wildlife as mountain lions. Now once we go through the grapevines, that's down to our favorite area. Well, a couple favorite areas. Here's our grilling out area, a little door to the basement. And then this gate here will take you into the pool area. And so we have a little um, gas fire pit area that you can sit around, some eating area that we'll eat outside a lot. There's a hot tub and there's our pool, which is one of the reasons why we fell in love with this house. Okay, so now we're going to go in the side door of the house, which enters into the mudroom area. There's a little area to hang your coats and things. 
And then that door there is the basement door, which we won't go. And off to that way is the kitchen, which we won't go yet. We're gonna turn left here and go into the original part of the house, which has the um, original wood floors. And it also has the original lath and plaster walls that have the picture rails. So you don't hang pictures directly into the walls. You have to hang them from the picture rails in these old houses and decorative molding there on the ceiling. And then we'll go back here and there's a chimney um, walled up somewhere over here that eventually we're going to try to expose, but there's an, an old chimney there. And then we'll come through here and this is my office. So my desk and my plant. Madagascar dragon tree, I believe is what it's called. There's the front door to the house, goes into the office. Now, here are uh, original pocket doors, um, and they do work still, they're a little bit rough, but um, I can close those doors there. And yeah, so pocket doors are pretty cool. And then this is, it was originally, I think, the front parlor of the house, and my office was the back parlor. And then these pocket doors were used to close them, but now it's just kind of a sitting room here, lots of just seating, and uh, pretty window seats over here, looking out, and there's a, um, a decorative fireplace there, it's actually not functional, okay, and we'll go back around this way trying not to make you guys dizzy. And then this is the, I think it might've been the original um, entry into the house because there's these, and, and oh, the, uh, the original staircase as well. So um, we'll go up the stairs here in a little bit, but this is the, an original staircase. And if I get close enough, you can see there's a lot of really intricate carving on that. So it's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so there's these double doors that lead to another set of double doors that go out onto the front porch there. And then, and these are a couple of uh, chairs I scored at an auction for, um, from the 1800s. So those are some pretty old chairs there that we don't really sit on. And then this is the main floor bathroom here. This little room, I have no idea what it is. Um, this is starting to be part of the newer part of the house maybe here in just a little bit. My kid's artwork wall. So we just kind of, the dog crates in here, we have a little day bed in here, and kids' art workstation is in here. One of my favorite um, pieces of art that I have, Irish Castle. And there's baby gates everywhere, so we'll, that one's open. We'll go through here, and this is the living area. So there's um, real pretty windows here, kind of looking out over well, right now you can see mostly just greenery. In the winter, you can see a lot of the city because we're on a hill. And so that's the living area. And then we could put a table here, but we kind of just leave this for like kids play stuff that's up here. And then this is the kitchen here. So let's walk through here. and the pantry and then that puts us right back where we started on the main floor and i'm going to pause and start uh, at the stairs all right now we're going to go down into the basement so this is <laughs> a very low ceiling door right here that if you're any taller than five feet five inches you have to limbo underneath it hold on let me get past this and then let's see turning to the left it's a very windy basement there's just random room that we have a little fridge in and stuff there's a bathroom in there and then this is where my husband Josh um, has his office and also his music studio in here and that door used to be to a little wine closet it actually used to lead outside at one point but they redid the wraparound porch or whatever and now it's just a small little room in there and that he uses for storage then if we go this way This is the scary part of the basement. So it's just 
the part that goes into the hillside that's really old, like the old part of the house. And so this is where like the boiler and the furnace and everything is. But you can see it goes back really far. There's a lot of storage and space in here. Not that I ever go in there. I don't like basements. And then this is the kids' playroom. So, yep, most of their toys and everything is in this room here. And then this room is the pool room that leads outside. It's the closest door to the pool. So there are some little changing rooms for the pool there and a little shower and storage and stuff. And then that door leads on outside to the pool. All right, so going up the stairs to the second floor. This is also, um, I don't know that the stairs are original, but the railings are original here. And turning to the left here, this is like just kind of the kids' bathroom. It's a real small bathroom here. With the shower to the right there that you can't really see. And then this is my little girl's room. So she has a nice view out the windows here. And then we'll head this way. And go into, so this is, these are the stairs up to the attic, which is where my office was most of the year, but it's too hot up there right now. And we'll go this way. And this is the laundry room area. One, there we go. Just a huge area and then a random toilet sitting out in the middle. <laughs> and this is my little boy's room. I did not paint it this color. I'm not quite sure yet what to do with it here. But anyway, little boy's room there. Some built-in shelves. And then we'll go back to my room, which initially has this, oh, here, let me turn the light on. So there's built-in shelves. Um, we didn't know what to do with this room. It originally was a reading room, but all my books are electronic. So um, we kind of just made it into an exercise room. So, and then, This is my room here. And my view, really pretty. Okay. It's really windy back here. This is a really big area. Um, closet, big walk-in closet. Um, I'm gonna skip that door for a second. This is the 90s style bathroom. Everything was done in the 90s and needs serious updating, but anyway, that's the bathroom here. And then this is just like extra rooms. I don't even know what they are. So here's a random room. And then there's another even like bigger closet in here. It's stuffed full of baby things. So I probably won't show you that. So now we're going to go up to the attic next. Now, there used to be, I think, pull down stairs right here, this weird little cutout in the ceiling to get up to the attic. But at some point, one of the owners put it in this treacherous spiral staircase, which has caused many scares um, over the time we've lived here so far. So let me get up these stairs. And, okay, up in the attic here, this is where I have my office for part of the year. Um, it's nice and warm up here in the winter, but in the summer, it's horribly hot. And this is also where my very senior cat lives. He's my office cat up here because he can't navigate stairs and he has trouble with the litter box. So he's relegated up here. And a little bathroom up here. There's my kitty. Hi, Nemo. And big closet in here. And that's about it. 